Hello, Fear the Meerkat here. Welcome to another episode. Yeah, I really do get tired of uh, people being impressed by me. I uh, I have to say, it's getting tiresome. I'm not showing off, it really is getting tiresome, honestly. Anyway, yes, welcome to another episode of my favourite The Lost Chapters Let's Play. Now, I am hoping that I'm going to be able to do a uh, proper quest, albeit a short one. Um, but sometimes I need to record these things twice, a bit simply, because um, basically I'm not satisfied with the first recording I make, and so I need to make a second one. And that's what's happened here. This is in fact the second time that I'm praying this. So, uh, there you go. And, um, well... I'm I'm going to uh, I'm going to do. It's just given me a chance to look up a couple of things. Put it simply. Um, so basically, I already know that there's a short quest coming up, but um, after that, there's a very uh, long quest uh, coming up. But um, that's also going to be a that might actually be the last quest in the game. I'm not certain, I haven't completed it, but it is one of the uh, Jack of Blades related uh, quests. So, there you go. Um, and so I suspect that's the, the last quest that you have to do. And so I'm going to get a few things done before that and uh, show them off. That seems like the most sensible thing to do to me. And so that's what I'm doing now. And I don't know if this is necessarily the best price you can get this from, but I am going to get it from here. Because I don't want to complete the game, basically. Start doing the last quest and be unable to do anything else. Um, without having first opened as many demon doors as I can and having first gotten all of the treasure clues. And so what I'm going to we do now is buy some... Uh, nice to see you again, sir. Some gifts, help you today? because this You're is going sure to, to be useful to for the demon door. I don't know if this is the best place to get this from, but I know they have romantic gifts here, so... And hopefully that will be enough. If not, I can oh, always coast. come back here. He goes there. So I there. suppose I'm going to skip. Well, I got a little lost. You need to remember that you need to go to the Greywood Cullis Gate in order to find Rose Cottage. That's where it is. Um, that's the best place. But, uh, yes, that's where you need to go. And just to remind you of what the demon door says... I never open on a first date. My heart has been broken too many times before. I could only let someone who really loved me through. Treated door and <laughs> always be open to it. I'm I'm not really sure how my my dating of demon door works. Apparently you can also marry this demon door and uh, that lets you it open as so well. Happy. I can feel pebbles welling up in my eyes. Please don't charm me with them. Oh, right, so we've opened one of the demon doors. Uh, the next one's going to be trickier, but uh, I can try at least. Ah, and this one's decorated like a, like a bedroom, or rather, well, I won't want to sleep here. Uh, even if I wasn't presumably sleeping with the demon door somehow. But, um old-fashioned, though the, uh, the old-fashioned that might be, this is, uh, what it looks like. This, this is, uh, inside of the demon door, and it's, 
Oh, I, I, you know what? Now what I kind of don't stop the demon door is into. Uh, sexually. And that is not a sentence I thought I would have to say today or ever. But, um, yes, I don't want to do that. Um, okay, there's really only one more that I think we can open now. It's not going to be super easy, so I'm going to save it. But it's certainly not impossible. So, uh, I will meet you back here in front of the correct door. Do, I'm not actually going to continue this mission. I sort of started it, but I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna continue it. I'm gonna give myself access. The guy. I'm sorry, I interrupted what she was saying. Basically, that was uh, that was Rose. That was the mum, and uh, she was saying, "Okay, you have to defeat all of these things." And uh, if you do, then you open the gateway to uh, Took Ghost. This is apparently this, but this is this happens to be on my way to where I actually need to go to. That's all. So uh, I might as well do this now. But I'm not going to. But I'm going to come back here later and resume this mission. If you see what I mean. Now, I said that if I didn't have anything to talk about, I would give you tips for Final Fantasy VII, and if I have a prior another Final Fantasy game, I would probably give you tips for that too. But yes, I said I would explain how enemy skill works in case you're playing one of those games right now, one of the Final Fantasy games, and I know Seven certainly has uh, enemy skill, and it certainly doesn't explain it very well. So I might as well continue my explanation from a couple of episodes ago when we were fighting the minions. So basically, the way enemy skill works is you'll get the materia, that is the thing that allows you to learn a magical attack, uh, for enemy skill. But at first, enemy skill will appear to do nothing, and unfortunately the game doesn't tell you why. Uh, but after a while, certain specific enemies have certain specific ta attacks. So after a while, one of them will do those one of those attacks. And if it's a specific attack that you can learn, and you have an enemy skill materia, then um, if I'm pronouncing materia correctly, then you will learn that skill. You will learn that enemy attack and you'll be able to use it yourself and so I recommend getting enemy skill Martyria because when I first played the game I thought enemy skill Martyria doesn't appear to be doing anything so I'm gonna sell it because you can sell Materia and you get a lot of money uh, in the game certainly in Final Fantasy 7 anyway so, uh, that's something that's very helpful to get, especially a skill called Big Guard, uh, which reduces the amount of damage an enemy, uh, uh, an enemy can do by half. So you can imagine why that's useful, especially against the boss. In fact, I think it's almost impossible to defeat some bosses without it. I suppose... I suppose I'm explaining this because uh, the game doesn't explain it very well. I know it has nothing to do with Fable 2. I know that you're probably not playing Final Fantasy at the moment. But in case you are, I thought I would share my knowledge. And that would be a good topic for me to talk about. So, I'm talking about it. And I'll explain more about it later on, because there are other pro tips I can give you. Other things that you need to learn, so... Alright, and this colour has been activated. So now I'm going to leave and uh, 
go back to where I was. Yes, I want to leave this quest. And I don't know why I've gone back to Rose Cottage, because this is not where I want to go at all. Uh, aha! You have right. legendary status. Well, apparently I'm a legend. Now, I thought you could only be a legend after you die. But never mind. You need to get to the Callis Gate in the middle of Darkwood. Okay, the I'm... The gate will only open when its hunger for undead souls is sated. Alright, it looks like I might have to do that again later. And I might do that again later, but for now... Uh, for now, let's just avoid it, because this isn't what I want to do now. I'm sorry for showing that off when it turns out that it's not actually helpful at all. But never mind. Clear that I clicked the wrong thing, and I was supposed to click no. See, I don't like the way the game is doing this. It's, uh, it's forcing me here. Alright, oh, I'm sorry about this. It's going to force me to do this. So, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this bit out and I will finish the, um, I will finish the mission that it wants me to do, which involves going through the colour skate and basically reaching an abbey. This is the only hard bit. Um, uh, Actually reaching the abbey is incredibly easy and after that you just need to do a lot of walking around. So I will cut this bit out and I will see you uh, once I've uh, made some progress and actually gone through the curse gate. And after this irritating mission is over then I can get back to this demon door. Okay, since the game gives me no choice and has not, not asked me if this is where I want to go. We are in Hook Coast now, and I'm, I'm sorry, I'm not going to explore. I'm just going to quickly go to where we need to go, because I can explore later, and I, I really can't be bothered with this. This isn't... I wanted to do this later. I do not want to do it now. So I'm just going to skip through this as quickly as I can, but uh, yeah, you wouldn't have thought the bars would be very popular considering the fact that it's a snowy wasteland, would you? Ah, that magical barrier wasn't there before. It explains what I just found in the guild. Meet me in Maze's quarters. I found a book that may help. Yeah, this this must be rather like going to Norway in uh, December and uh, trying to get a drink there. Yeah, it doesn't really seem like the ideal place to sort of uh, go and do that. You know. That place, Hook Coast, appears in uh, Fable Something 2 right here. as what? well. No! 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 Alright, she's just saying something tedious about the fact that she's being kidnapped by minions. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry for interrupting, I just... Not interested in doing this quest now. I wanted to do it after the, the demon doors were done, but I suppose I ought to embrace this now since I have no choice. And you just just compare the the size of these to when our character first arrived here, these statues, so you can sort of see the progress our character has made here. The book! Don't forget the book! Great! Tell tell me that in front of the minions. I'm sure they won't try to grab the book themselves. So it's very fortunate the minions are idiots. Oh, 
All right, now the quest has been completed, I think uh, that I can maybe go back to doing what I wanted to do. So let's try that. I have a Here's an important quest card for us. So now we know how to do that uh, mission. Just, there's probably a colour skate nearer here. Yeah, I agree with the colour skate. I should just have gone for that. Never mind. to see your combat multiplier get higher before I swing a jar. Well, probably the best way to do this is with hogs, but, um... I can try to do it with him. Apparently it needs to get to 14, so... I suspect that he'll die just before it gets to 14. And I am kind of cheated a bit. But never mind. Yeah, I didn't get hard enough. I, what I'm going to have to do is go and attack the hobs and then run out here and hope that I can do it quick enough. So, I would suggest saving it here. Probably best to go to the entrance and stay there as a uh, place to do this. I'm sure there'll be lots of hobs somewhere near the door. Ah, it's gone to 13, but I want it to be more than that, so that... I actually have time to get out of here. Because it's not going to stay on 14 for very long, so... Okay, it's pretty high now. Let's see if we can manage to do this. Come on, team. Come on, come on. <laughs> All right. Well, this will be simple now. There should still be enough for me to. If I get him. I'm probably about what I've already done, that ought to be enough. I recommend continuing to boost your magic here and that you feel like taking the risk. Last. Get your ass through here. Alright, I recommend getting all of the cobs in the cob the cobs 
getting all of the cobs, uh, corn on the cobs and eating them, then getting all of the hobs in Hob Cave, and then, um, you've got to, uh, get that, uh, that troll outside, and that's probably the best way to do it. To be perfectly honest, I think the fact that I'm so good at fighting now probably uh, doesn't actually help that much. Uh, because I just kill things too quickly. Although I suppose it helps in regard to me having enough health to be able to win this thing. But still, um, to be able to beat them without any trouble. And that means my combat multiplier doesn't get back down to zero through me being hit, but still, I suspect that's it. And this thing's called the Butterfly House, and it, it really does seem to have a lot of butterflies in it, so there you go. And I'm going to save it there, and there's one more thing where I'm not quite sure where it is, but I'm going to I'm gonna look for it, because it seems to be... Uh, fairly simple door to open so I'm gonna see if I can find it I might not be able to but I will try at least and whilst I'm there there's something else that I want to show off so you can see that beautiful uh, sky there turn starting to turn dark and after that we'll look for the clues and then I guess we'll uh, we'll finish the thing up and uh, end this episode. This is another episode that's going to take me a long time to edit. I seem to have ended up with a lot of extra footage recently, but never mind. Beside you. No. At the Temple of Light, you shall reap more, the more you reward the Temple. And that is absolutely true, you. and I might, uh, I might take a look at that in the next episode. Just not right now. Alright, this. I don't think... Such calm. I don't think I'm going to be able to do this now, but let's try. Yeah, guys. Let's get out of my way. Oh, you're talking to him. So yeah, there's a sort of sword and the stone situation yes! in a way. You can get this very powerful weapon if you're strong enough. I'm just not sure my character is strong enough yet. But I will um, have a look and try at least. Uh, I was hoping to find a demon door here. Yay! Apparently it's in a place called the Prophet's Chamber, which I assumed Yay! you could get to near the Temple of Avo, but I can't find it, so... Have a go. Yay! If I can't Good do luck. it this Give time, it all you've got. I will probably be able to do it next time. That oh well. Hugh sure knew what he was doing. Better luck when you try next. <laughs> Frankly, I don't know side. why you didn't laugh at the other guy. Uh, never mind. Okay. Let's try to find these clues. Actually, before I try to find these clues, perhaps I should see which clues I've already got. Alright, it's three and four I'm missing. First thing we have to do, archery contest. And we need to become better at it than we are now. Ah, hello. This is uh, 
I've already met one of these. They were partly free assassins, the spots to kill me. You may remember in an earlier episode that my character became famous enough for assassins to be interested in him. Well, they're free, and now I've killed two of them. The first one I didn't realise was an assassin. I thought it was just one of the people who were already attacking me. And the second one is him, and the third one has the clue that we need. But he's not in Not Hall Grade. Ah, there is an important quest card at the guild for you. He's somewhere else, and you will find out where soon. Just not right now. Ready to set a new high school! I don't know how high a score we need to get on these. Well, I hope I did well enough. If not, Game I will probably over. not show you everyone's off. Let's see what score you got, and if you've won anything. Good going, hero. Here's your prize. How about you, sir? Fancy your chances? Ah, back for another go. I'm going to try only hitting the back one since it's worth more. That's your lot. Let's see how many points you got, shall we? A new high score. Well, aha! Right Here we go. Right one more to go. Just we need to go to Cook Co Coast. Assassins should be here somewhere. And if he's not here yet, that probably means there's still a mission we have to do before he'll turn up. So yeah, when you go to this place in Fable 2, it's mostly inhabited by evil people. Basically, pirates and stuff like that. Doesn't seem to be inhabited by anyone at the moment, so... If I can't find the assassin, then I can't find the assassin. That means I have to come back here at a later time. It's probably somewhere beyond that barrier that we can't get to. Oh well, uh, I suppose if we can't find all of the clues, then we can't find all of the clues. So I guess I'm going to have to end the episode there. Um, in the next episode, uh, I will probably get on with the next proper uh, mission. But um, for now, I will just uh, say goodbye.